because OpenAI has the biggest footprint in the industry, whenever they sneeze, everybody catches a cold. Whenever they do a product launch, everyone asks a lot of questions. They launched Codex today, or relaunched Codex, really, and they wanted to emphasize how uh, agentified Codex is now, where you can now ask it to read your code, to write changes to code in the cloud, you can ask it to fix issues, it will propose fixes to issues, and it acts in many ways like a very, 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 very junior software intern, which software engineering intern, which is fine. It's just not particularly innovative. And I think that sometimes we're in a position sort of like Apple is in from a brand perspective, where when uh, Apple launches something, Apple's brand is innovation in the minds of a lot of consumers. But Apple's brand is not innovation in the minds of people who are deep in tech. And people will tell you if they have Android phones that it's like an iPhone two years in the future because the Android phone has all these features that the iPhone doesn't yet have, but Apple will still brand it as innovative when they go out and launch it. And so this holds true in the AI world. OpenAI is branded for innovation with consumers, but people who are deeper in the development community don't necessarily see it the same way. I view this launch of Codex as actually primarily defensive in nature because Claude has already launched Claude code. People are enjoying using it. It uses some special sauce of Claude that does a phenomenal job. And it works right on your computer locally and you run it from the command line and all of this. It just, it works great. There are other GitHub repos that do something very similar already to what was launched as Codex. But because OpenAI has the brand that they have and the distribution that they have. When they launch, it is a big deal because inherently it changes the shape of the race. They are pulling developers back in just because of the brand and developers who might otherwise have gone other directions in the ecosystem to have their AI assisted coding needs are statistically more likely to stay with a brand that they know. Now, any given developer will say, I'm not a statistic, but that's what we all say with ads. I'm not a statistic. I'm not affected by the ad for the new Toyota, right? The ads reach somebody. It does work. In the same way, the brand has an impact. It does matter. And so their ability to launch something and get attention reshapes the race. And that is why they did it, because they want to be seen as continuing to play in the developer ecosystem, just as they want to continue their dominance in the consumer ecosystem with their chat app. And so you can look at this as almost a cousin to the windsurf acquisition deal. They want to keep playing in the developer space. They're buying windsurf. They're launching Codex. They're not done. There's going to be more. They launched uh, ChatGPT 4.1, which is really primarily for coding a couple of weeks ago. And what's interesting is if you're keeping track at home, these moves may all be broadly similar, but underneath, they don't all add up in the same way. Windsurf even though it was just acquired by ChatGPT, is not rolling over and just allowing Windsurf to be only run by ChatGPT models, which was the fear some of us had. Instead, they're actually rooting out and competing with the model makers themselves by launching their own agentified model that they built in-house, SWE1. It actually came out this week. It performs very, very well. Cursor has something that is quite similar now. And what we're seeing is this ability of major model makers to drive code tokens is itself under threat because the technology to make these models is proliferating so fast. So even though Windsurf was purchased by OpenAI, that does not mean they're only using OpenAI models. And in fact, they're openly competing with the company that just bought them by launching SWE1. So all of that is happening in the context of a launch like Codex. And I just wanted to unpack it a little bit and give you a sense of what's underneath. Because it's going to look on the shiny surface like this is an innovative new thing. But when I looked at it, I was like, OK, we have a lot of these. Here's OpenAI's version. That's fine. It doesn't really move the needle forward. Does that make sense?